Hi folks, and another really quick one this morning. I want to talk about two things. One thing that irritates a miserable old git like me, and something else that is quite useful to a miserable old git like me. So first things first, let's talk about the thing that irritates me. If we go up to the top and along to the far left, you can see my gamer profile or gamer card. Now you would think that if you pressed on this, it would bring up your gamer profile. And I don't know if this just applies to people on the Insider program or whether it applies to everybody. It might just be someone's checked a checkbox somewhere. So let me know in the comments if this applies to you. But if you press on this, as I say, you would think it would bring up your gamer profile, but it doesn't. It takes you to home <laughs> or the guide, as they call it. So I, I don't understand that. I don't understand, given that Microsoft are trying to make everything very slick and very fast, you would think that they would set this to take you directly to your profile so you can get into it really quickly. And the reason why this has come up today is because they've introduced something else. And this is the thing that is really interesting and really useful to a miserable old git like me. And that's do not disturb. And I'd like to be able to get into that fast. So if we press on the Xbox Guide button, you can get into it, but you have to go up to the top and you have to go along to your profile and then you click on your profile and then you go all the way down to the bottom where it says do not disturb and I've set it at the moment. So you've got the options appear online, which is how I've usually got it. You've got appear offline or do not disturb. So you're still showing up as being online, but it's not well, you're not going to get messages and stuff from people. And to somebody like me who's making YouTube videos and, you know, I, I seem to spend my time making YouTube videos on my Xbox more than I actually do playing the damn thing. <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, it's quite handy to have that turned on. So although I'm still online, I, I'm actually got the do not disturb on and I do not get any messages sent through. So that's really, really handy. And if you're a miserable git like me, it might be useful to you too. But you know, there is other reasons why you might want it other than being a miserable git. So anyway, I think that's really useful, but I do think it would be better if you could get into your profile a lot faster. And so I'm gonna say, Microsoft, come on, sort yourselves out. Given that you've done a lot of good stuff with the interface of late, I'm surprised you've missed that one. It would seem a lot better to have it set up that way. But what do you guys think? Do you think it should be set so you can get into your profile from there? Or are you happy going into home and then across and then down and then over to your profile? I mean, OK, it's not that fast, but it could be a lot faster. And what do you think about the do not disturb? Bear in mind that the do not disturb is only available currently to the people on the alpha ring of the insider program. Obviously, a lot of you won't have that yet. But it is going to be rolled out to everybody. Do you think it's a good idea? Would you rather it wasn't on there? I can't see that anyone would want it not to be on there. But let me know in the comments and we'll have a chat about it. And that's pretty much me done for today. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. And uh, yeah, lie down in a dark room and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.